Phase 2 saw us dragging this horrendously heavy and hot template all the way from the metal workshop across the desert to be carefully placed upon our nice and level surface. It would enable us to accurately drive in stakes to which we would attach our guidelines that would enable us to very very carefully place our cardinal blocks. These not only had to be level, but level with each other, so we once again employed ancient technology to aid us in our tasks. Once this was accomplished, the rest was plain sailing and the inner circle was laid in no time. We did, however, pay very, very careful attention to place a few of the blocks vertically, as they would act like cleats or teeth, keeping the structure in place in our seismically active zone. The second circle went off without hitch, and as we had the first to use as a guideline, they were level and placed in place in no time. This led to the completion of the first circle, and very, very loosely placed in place. Our next task, of course, was to cover up all the holes as we would later fill them with gravel, and to begin by adding concrete to the inside of the blocks. This would add weight and create an added stability to the entire structure. We also employed one or two Mexican cement guards to aid us in our tops. This enabled us to do beautiful work on the inside and to begin the outside work just before tea. At the completion of lunchtime, we had already covered the outside walls with a very smooth layer of white concrete that would be congruent with the final color of the mud. Next task was to start leveling the entrance. As you see here, we were just about to put our beams in place and use our tried and trusted method to create the nice smooth surface that we were so used to doing. The first block had been put in place. The crew stepped in to start laying the next. Things ran smooth as a Swiss clock. Blocks in place gaps filled up, concrete mixed and poured, put in place, everybody went straight to tea, had their watermelon, and it was a wonderful morning's work. I did mention however that the gaps were filled in with gravel. Not only was that accomplished, but a termite trap was created out of plate steel with an overhanging lip. This would be treated with a biomaterial to resist Bugs. Bugs and bales are a bad combination. This is what the work looked like towards the end of the second stage.